All right, now to a problem that's taking many things away from our community. But did you know, even if you're not the one driving recklessly, you might be paying for it. The I-Team's Sean Gallagher explains. High speeds and wild driving are nothing new at 35th and Center. It's a long stretch, just straight highway, just non-stop, where you can just pick up speed at. You're going to see a lot of yak yak, people hanging out the window. It doesn't matter what you do, it's still going to be some silly drivers, right? He'd be on the grass, on the curb, just going crazy. And in some cases, this is the effect. Mangled metal, costing the city a lot of money to keep these lights on. We're at about $2.4, $2.5 million a year in costs. That's a cost yeah. on the rise, according to city engineer Kevin Muse. You're talking about a 10,000 repair, $50,000 repair up. That cost is per light, and between 14 and 1,600 traffic and street lights get knocked down in crashes every year, according to the Department of Public Works. Last year, it cost the city $2.8 million to fix them, and it's a problem the city can't ignore any longer. And so it is actually a budget item that we have uh, in our budget now. That's right, for the first time ever, the city has to build in costs for the high number of lights being knocked down to the tune of $2.4 million. You know, that's a 15 to 20 percent of our typical capital budget for that item. How ridiculous, how ridiculous. That's police union president Andrew Wagner. While Milwaukee police couldn't use this money, to put the number in perspective, with $2.4 million, the department could hire 25 full-time police officers, according to Wagner. The city is paying um, for the, the mistakes of these, these people that are driving like this in our cities. Muse says some of the repair costs do come from the driver's insurance, but not enough to make them whole. Since 2020, less than 20% of the total costs were covered by insurance. It's almost an automatic theft that they're, they're taking this $2.8 million of the, the taxpayer's money because of their reckless behavior. That if we can get reckless driving more, a better handle on it, if we can reduce it across the city, this will be one more benefit that there will be, yes, a slight benefit to the city's you know, budgetary uh, issues as well. So if you know someone driving recklessly, it could be costing you. While the costs are immense, Muse says the city doesn't play around when it comes to down traffic signals because it's a safety emergency. So if you see one of these signals knocked down, give the city a call. They'll have someone out within 24 hours to get it back up. Reporting for the I-Team, I'm Sean Gallagher. All right, Sean, thanks. Our Project Drive Safer is TMJ4's year-long effort to curb reckless driving. Our team tracks data related to crashes and reckless driving offenses. Scan the QR code on your screen to be taken to the page to see the impact of reckless driving.